Hey, hello everybody. Today is September the 22nd, fall equinox, um, the beginning of fall time. I've been able to feel it in the air. It feels good. It feels really good. Okay, um, so today we're, we're building off of what we did yesterday with the Ubble and Ibble suffixes. Okay, um, we already did this do now, so there will not be a do now today. Uh, okay, so looking at today's page one, 203, okay, so a, a denotation of a word or phrase is its meaning, okay, but today we're going to talk about the connotation of a word or phrase, which is the association or feeling it brings to mind. Authors choose words that have positive, negative, or neutral, so neither... Neutral means neither positive nor negative. If, if a car is in neutral, obviously it won't go forward or backward unless it rolls. Okay, so authors choose words that have positive, negative, or neutral connotations. Readers identify the connotation of words to understand the author's purpose and tone. Okay, so right here we have these three words. We have restful. Okay, so restful means, well, you know, full of rest. Like if... If I go to a hotel and it's it's a one that has reviews of restful um, restfulness, whatever, okay, it it is a uh, it's a good one, right? It's a place where you can go get rest. Okay, it's full of rest. Okay, so does that give us a positive or negative feeling? Well, pretty much positive, right? Okay, so still, okay, I'm not sure that still gives us a a, so that means not moving or making no effort. To me, that's almost negative, right? If you're making no effort or not moving, but if, if you're laying still, that's not really a bad thing, right? If you're sitting still, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so it could be both. So they went with neutral on that one. Okay, then we have the word lazy. Well, that we know what that is. Um, that, that does not present a positive feeling at all. So, okay, so then we have lazy. All right, authors choose words and phrases that create a certain tone or mood in their writing. Think about the connotation of the phrase cried out. A voice cried out from the president's box. Stop that man. Why do you think the author James Swanson wrote cried out instead of shouted? I think James Swanson cr wrote "cried out" instead of "shouted" because, all right. So, so yeah, there's kind of a they mean the same thing, but there's some difference there, right? He cried out. Uh, to me, that shows more desperation, right? Okay, he could have sh like I could go to a jazz game and shout, or a Aggies game and shout, right? Out of out of like enjoyment, out of having fun. Whereas cried out shows us a, a little bit more negative, right? It was a negative situation. Okay, so right here, they want you to decide if it has a positive, negative, or neutral connotation. John Wilkes Booth wanted revenge. Booth wanted to inspire the people of the South. Major Rathbone was an experienced Army officer. Okay, those underlined words, you need to write what you think. Okay, and then analyze the word choice. The phrases in the parentheses below have a similar uh, denotations, but different connotations. Circle the phrase that makes the most sense in context. Explain why you choose the, chose the phrase. The assassin broke free or moved away shouting freedom. Okay, I chose blank because blank. All right. Okay, with that being said, I want you to get this turned in, okay? You're going to get this one turned in, um, and then uh, depending on how much time we have, how much time this takes, I may give you another five or ten minutes to look back, uh, see if you can find some things that you um, have missed in this class and get turned in, okay? All right, thanks, guys. Have a great day. Um, tomorrow's Thursday. Today's Wednesday. We're, we're moving through the week. Uh, life is good. Let me know if you have any questions.